Hi there, I just thought I was going to show you something called um, Sling Player, which is this little thing here. Um, it's a little box you can buy. Uh, I got mine for, I can't really remember, I think it was about £80 at Christmas time. And um, what it does, you plug your Skybox into it, or your DVD player, or a camcorder, or whatever you like, um, uh, in one place in the world, and then it hooks up to your internet. It has to have a hard line connection. But and then what you can do is then watch, for instance, Sky on your laptop anywhere in the world that has an internet connection. And what's really good about it is you can actually control it. Again, it has little um, infrared uh, little LEDs that come with the box on the wire, which you then shove next to the receiver on your TV or whatever. And you can actually fully control everything. So I'll show you it. It's, it's absolutely amazing quality. It's blinding. Um, They've re recently released a new update to the player itself, which is this little thing. See, this is how long it takes to connect sort of thing. And uh, I don't think you'll be able to hear it because I don't have the sound hooked up to the speaker output. But right, this is Sky, and then I'm just using the keyboard to open up menus, do loads of stuff. It's like when it's prime time, like 7 o'clock at night, it can get a bit hazy because just like more people using the internet, it just, but it's a good way of controlling it, just dumps down the quality of it. I've, I've tried just going to crappy connection places just to test what it's like. So, like, I had my laptop in the car once and we were at a car park at some McDonald's, so I connected up to that free Wi Fi thing, which is only like a quarter of a megabyte is still connected to it. It was really poor quality, but like it was good enough. You could watch TV on it. Right, this is full screen. It looks to like expand itself. There you go. You can set it to properly full white script, but I can't be bothered because my RAM is being eaten up from this video recording Camtasia thing. Yeah, then you can like get to the side when it loads, which is really good because like if you just want to have TV on while you're browsing there, it means the windows won't overlap this one and like even lose all the icons for you and everything. And then like you have a nice neat sky remote down if you don't want to try and figure out the keyboard shortcuts are. And like if you add um, Sky Plus. What you can then do is actually record, you can use this to record programs and watch it back. And the best thing about having this new player, which they got recently, is you can actually get this sliding bar they have here and you can just whack it to the side and go back in time and view stuff. So I go back to the beginning, then I can then just play it. Yeah, and it's pretty sweet. It, re it records up to an hour, but it doesn't actually record it, it just kind of like stores it temporarily, so you can't actually record stuff, but I suppose if you really wanted to, you could use something like Camtasia, like I'm using now, and actually record it. So yeah, I'll just say that's um, Sling Player. I just think it's a really neat piece of hardware, like when I'm going off to uni, it's going to, you know, enable me to watch Sky, so yeah, if you're looking for something like that, go for it, it's brilliant. So yeah.